Hey, y'all, Jesus is Lord. Yes, sir, the word, it works. We're talking about the power of your tongue. And like it says in James chapter 3, that the governor of the ship decides where it goes. Now, I don't know a whole lot about sailing, but I have sailed a time or two with some friends of mine. A friend of mine had a little catamaran. When you're going with the wind, it's really kind of boring. You don't feel nothing. You can't tell you're moving because you're going with it. But you can go 180 degrees the opposite of the way the wind is if that's what you choose. So when you're going with the world, downstream, with the wind, really kind of boring. But when you turn into the wind and decide, I'm going to live in divine health, you can change your life, and that's a little more exciting. So i got to tell you this. Let's say we want to go exactly west, and the wind blowing right out of the west, or so it's going to push you to the east. You have to do a thing called tacking, and I don't understand all that. I've done it with somebody else and watched them do it, but you can go exactly against the wind by turning a little bit this way, and then Turning back the other way, they call it tacking. And, and that's more exciting. The wind blows in your face. The spray comes up over the, uh, you know, the small sailboats, what I'm talking about. You have to work at it a little bit harder. You got to turn it into the wind. And then after a while, turn it crossways. And, and that's when the real exciting part is, is when your sail catches the full brunt of the wind and you're sideways, it'll try to push you over. So you got to be ready to turn it the right way. Well, your tongue, uh, that, right, that right there, your tongue is like that. Get tired of being bored and going the way everybody else is going and decide, hey, I want to go the other way. If everybody else is talking about you got to be sick, there's nothing you can do about it. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to go that way. It's easier to go that way, but it is rather boring. I make a decision where I want to go. And particularly, we're talking about going west. If I want to go, you know, due north, I can go kind of a side glance, let that wind blow me, and go the, exactly the way I want to go. I am the captain of my ship. I don't even have to have a motor because my tongue is the rudder of my ship, and I can set the course and decide which way I want to go. And i got to say this again. It's a lot more fun when you're going back and forth and you're choosing which way you want to go. The spray's hitting you in the face. The wind is blowing your hair. And, and, and it's a lot of fun. It's a challenge there. A lot of believers nowadays don't want a challenge. Hey, I want a challenge. I want to be challenged to, to make my faith work. I want the, you know, the wind to mess up my hair a little bit. I, I want to be out there and say, my tongue is the pen of a ready writer. I can do this. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I'm not willing to be sick and broke and miserable and go the way that the world is going. I'm going the other way. I believe you're going the other way. Have a great day until I'm with you tomorrow. You remember, Jesus is Lord. And yeah, that word, it works.